Kitchen Catastrophes. That's our story. Actually, a whole episode. And we're not talking just like fallen souffles and burnt flans here. No, these are real disasters. So what are we doing? Well, I'll give you a hint. You've got a source of ignition. You've got a fuel. Think biodiesel. Add to that the air that you breathe, and you've got a grease fire. We're doing grease fires. More specifically, that trying to extinguish a grease fire with a cup of water will cause a 30-foot fireball. That sounds genuinely tasty. Let's dig in. Adam's in a hurry to light a fire under this myth. Luckily, they'll be under adult supervision. In our ongoing quest to get some quality playtime with every single fire department within a 50-mile radius of Mythbusters, we've come today to the South San Francisco Fire Department's training facility where they've agreed to let us set some grease fires. But before Adam fans the flames of his pyromania, he's taking on his acrophobia. This is just as much fun as it looks. It's also as scary as it looks. Three stories up, he's setting up their homemade benchmark scale. This scale right here is 30 feet tall, and the myth says that we're supposed to get a fireball 30 feet tall. This will tell us if that's correct. Personally, it strikes me as a little ambitious. It sure seems like a tall order, but the guys are cooking up their own version of this mythical kitchen catastrophe, and they've lined up all the ingredients. So what we've got here is a frying pan full of two quarts of oil. We've got a thermistor to check how hot it's getting. We've got eight ounces of water to dump on it once we catch it on fire, and we've got a gauge to tell us if the fireball we get is in fact 30 feet tall. Two quarts of canola oil and some water, 30 feet fireball? No, nah, I don't think so. This season, myths will <laughs> fall. All new Mythbusters, Wednesdays at 9, only on Discovery.